quit spreading the shit. You understand? Yeah, we know we're in the shit, but it doesn't help that you want to spread it continually every day and tell everybody about it, right? And I'm not talking about these guys. I'm not talking about Bobby and Sal, Rocco and Frankie. What I'm talking about is you guys. Colin and Caleb and Franklin, you want to tell everybody. You want to keep spreading the shit. We know about it. Do you understand? Just because we're not panicking or acting like we're concerned 24-7 doesn't mean that we don't know about this shit or the shit doesn't affect us. What we're saying to you is it doesn't help. Why don't you stand up a little taller? Huh? Instead of everybody fucking crying into the shit or talking more about how much the shit smells, stop. We can smell it. We know it. We know it's there. Quit spreading the shit. Why don't you act like Frankie? Frankie stands there like a fucking rock. Just like Rocco does constantly. Right? Rocco wants to sing about the shit. Right? He, Rocco doesn't cry about the shit. He sings about it. He makes a song about the shit. And then everybody goes, what the fuck's wrong with Rocco? The, kid, the guy's lost his fuck. Yeah. But during that time again, you have forgotten about all your problems. Ronnie, he's so oblivious to everything, you know, he keeps making more shit and you go, Ryan, don't you understand we're already in shit, we don't need more shit? He don't care! We all live in it, every day. All of a sudden, it's front and center, it's in our face, and we can't do our little routines, huh? Sal, Sal, do you give a fuck about your little routine? No. Sal's happy. Sal's got a fucking f grin ear to ear every day, even when he loses every dime on anything he bets on, Sal's still fucking happy. He doesn't wallow in this shit and consistently tell you about his losses and what he owes. Fucking Sal don't care. He's gonna do it. Whether or not he gets into some shit or not, he doesn't care. Quit getting the biggest fucking butter knife that you can to spread this shit ever so everybody who doesn't know every detail about this shit gets covered. Stop talking about it. I'm gonna have to tell everybody about everything all the time. No you don't. No you don't have to tell everybody everything all the time. Maybe you just keep your mouth shut and listen. Listen for something else that might be. There's a fucking bird. You ever hear the bird? No you haven't heard the bird because you talk about the shit. The, you're drowning out the fucking birds. If the crazy horse gets shut down, I understand that. You're not happy, but do you fucking cry about it, Rock? What do you do? No, I don't want to hear what you <laughs> I don't want to hear what you do. And Frankie, same thing. Frankie gets hurt, or he loses something, or he... I mean, the idiot... He fucking hit himself in the head with a racket the other day. Playing with his kid, he fucking slammed himself with a fucking racket and broke his own tooth, but what did Frankie do? He continued playing the game, even though he broke his tooth, his fucking lip was fat, because he wanted to beat that kid's ass. What kind of human being thinks like that? That's why you want to know Frankie. You want to know people who are ridiculous. You've made the mistakes of looking at us as if we didn't know better, that we didn't know anything, that you knew everything, see? You thought you knew everything up to your short period of life. Your little lifespan, you thought, oh, I know everything. But you didn't see shit coming because your life is all, your life's always been good. And now the shit came and you need to look to people who are stupid, ridiculous, and know how to make shit go by without being affected by it. Pay attention to the ridiculous ones. We'll get you through the shit. Thank <music> you.